Video games, I think, actually, is probably not the question. It's really more about other screens and social okay. media is the, the, the hardest thing. Mm. I think video games has now been something that everyone sort of accepts and sees all the benefits to and are like, yeah, it's fine. <laughs> we don't have to worry about video games. What sometimes is harder is like teenagers sitting around on their phones and just scrolling for hours mm. or younger kids even who normally would be playing and building forts together, you know, on their iPads instead. And that can sometimes feel that can feel really alarming as an adult walking right. through a community. We've gone through places where like the community was more alarmed about something and then sort of had conversations and then felt a little bit more comfortable with it. I think it's hard to tell how much of that alarm is just coming straight from adults. And, but there's, you know, we last year, or maybe it's actually been about a year and a half now, we had one of our students who was a younger student and was getting tired of coming to school and his friends were playing on their computers or whatever instead of playing with him. And so he made a school meeting motion to ban personal devices. And mm. that, as you can imagine, had a lot of <laughs> a lot of people showing up to school meeting. It's been a long time since a student made that kind of a motion. But what that did was incite a big conversation about why he felt the need for this motion and what are some solutions. And then we had a task force called the Cultural Impact of Personal Devices Task Force that had a few different small a focus group, a few kind of mm. focus group conversations with different age groups to sort of talk about it. And it really, I think some of the students just appreciated, there were teenagers who felt bothered that their friends were kind of just scrolling on their phones all day and they mm -hmm. just felt like they weren't available um, or engaging. And I think they just appreciated the ability to open that conversation. This is the Agentic Schools podcast, where you will learn about schools from around the world where children's agency to make decisions about their learning and living is more important than their academic skills. I'm your host, Don Berg. <laughs>